Social media is supposed to help you connect with friends, but sometimes people you don't want to connect with find their way in and can cause trouble. Cyberstalking is becoming more of an issue. The Stalking Prevention Awareness and Resource Center says more than 13 million people are victims of such abuse. Elizabeth Shores tells us who's at risk and how to handle it. Central Dakota forensic nurse examiner's Christy Wolf says cyberstalking is when someone uses tech and social media platforms to isolate, intimidate, or frighten their victims. Those dozens of texts you might receive from someone aren't always just annoying. Wolf says those can also be considered abusive depending on other actions the sender has taken against you. Abusers today have a wide arsenal of tools to work with, like using Snapchat location services to track a victim's movement. Someone may not think that someone sending you a text message of, hey, your new house looks great in a photo of your home, doesn't necessarily seem scary. But to someone that's tried to escape their abuser or their stalker and all of a sudden they're sending a picture of their home, that can be terrifying. College students as a whole have it the worst. The Stalking Prevention Awareness and Resource Center says up to 39% of students reported being stalked. Even more worryingly, many don't acknowledge that what they're experiencing is a crime. The SPARC says 43% of victims didn't think their experiences constituted stalking even though they met the legal criteria. Just like with traditional stalking, Sometimes abusers move past the screen to assault their victims physically. I guarantee you that somebody in that victim's life is telling them it's no big deal or just ignore it. One in three women are a victim of stalking at some point in their life. One in six men are a victim of stalking at some point in their life. Overall, nearly 80% of victims experienced some form of cyber stalking. The most common form of cyber stalking includes unwanted phone calls and texts threatening to publish or dox someone's private information, threatening to share intimate photos, tracking someone, monitoring their social media, and using tech to spy on someone all fall under the cyber-stalking umbrella. Wolf says if the way someone is acting makes you fearful or isolated, reach out for help. In Bismarck, I'm Elizabeth Shores, reporting for your news leader. Wolf says cyber-stalking victims can develop conditions like PTSD and anxiety just as much as those who experience in-person stalking. Call the Abuse to Door Resource Center's 24-7 hotline at 866-341-7009 if you think you or someone you know is being abused. Now, if you're not ready to take that step, Monroe Reichman says to keep a log of all the times your stalker contacts you and who else may have witnessed their abusive behavior. This can help law enforcement later.